introducing to you first. Fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 77.1 kilograms and trains under Mo Musali and Nathan Reddy at a Triple X Fight Academy with a professional record of six wins for just two defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Caleb Crazy Horse Rider! And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 76.9 kilograms and trained under Eugene Behrman out of City Kickboxing in Auckland, New Zealand, with a professional record of five wins for just one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Kevin A. Juice. Gentlemen, welcome. We've been through the rules. Make sure you listen to my command all the time and defend yourself all the time. For the belt, we took them up. Good luck to you both. Wow. Eternal 67 main event here on the Gold Coast in Queensland. It's the crazy horse, Caleb right, Rideout. Kevin, good? Kevin, in good? the blue corner. Right, on, let's go. Kevin Andrew say fighting out of the red corner. Eternal welterweight championship is on the line. Tanir and Nathan cage side with Kyle. No, Kyle. Whoa, what a main event. Oh, this is a great matchup here. I got goosebumps for this fight. This is gonna be an exciting fight to see. And as expected, Kevin just said, real calm to start off with, real relaxed. Crazy horse moving a little bit more, a bit more erratic. And more of that unpredictability. Once again, this main event proudly brought, brought to you by proper number 12, Irish Whiskey. Watch fingers, both yous. <laughs> oh, and you talk about crazy, Kyle. Have yeah. you seen anything like that? It's <laughs> almost a karate chop. Like a hammer fist. Nice knees, too. That left a mark on Kevin's face yeah, as well. That wasn't a soft shot. That was a heavy, heavy shot. Most definitely. Oh, nice right hand. Well, there's a right hand straight down the middle for Crazy Horse, and he is bringing the fight to Kevin early in round number one. Nice low calf kick as well. Ooh. Good. A bit low. Fight on. Peter Hickmont says fight on. Caleb right out, not wanting to slow any of his momentum he's picked up early in round number one. Oh, he's looking great too. Well, he's found his range early, Kyle. Yeah, it didn't take long to feel him out at all. He was straight into it. Kevin Jusay still stalking at this stage. That right hand landing again. That's a bullet down the middle. Stiff jab lands for Jusay. Jusay starting to find his range as well now. Crazy horse always moving, always being unpredictable. He's not letting Kevin get a beat on him. Yeah. Hey, there's the spin. Well, it was expected here from Crazy Horse. <laughs> it's what earned him a title shot. Could it earn him the title this evening? Kevin Jusay saw that overhand right coming from a mile away, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, I think as the, as the fight progresses, Kevin will see a little bit more and more of what Crazy Horse has got and be able to be out of range a little bit. But still, you never know what's coming. Well, there's not too much he hasn't seen in the walls of City Kickboxing, sparring partners like Israel Adesanya, Brad Riddell. Alex Volkanovsky, James Vakir. Dan Hooker. Dan Hooker, <laughs> Kai Kara France. Oh man, are we missing anyone? Shane we'll, Young. We'll be here all night. We'll be here all night, we will. Credit to uh, Crazy Horse as well, getting his work in with the team at Triple X Fight Academy. Michael Moss, Lachlan Stitt out there. Getting him as well prepared as they can for Kevin tonight. Nice crown striking there by Kevin. Uh, Caleb, sorry. Two minutes, Ooh, heavy, heavy low kick. Wow. Right in front of us, too. Yep. Jeez, he's got to be careful standing right in front of Caleb, does Kevin. He's a big man, but Caleb, he's just got the jump on him at the moment here in round one, Kyle. Yeah, Caleb's looking very sharp, very unpredictable, in and out. Herky jerky moment. There's that spin again. Nice, nice leg punch. This kid's exciting to watch. 
<laughs> yeah, there's a big right hand. Just a reminder to uh, all those watching, this bout is scheduled for five five-minute rounds in our main event. Ooh. That right hand is landing, Kyle. I tell you what, these guys are well to waste, but they're landing some heavy strikes. You can hear them. Not that heavyweights can't land heavy, I'm just saying they're heavy. Oh, goodness gracious, <laughs> absolutely. Awesome counter striking there by Caleb. He's able to land and get out of the way for Kevin's strikes and then come back with his own again. That is amazing. Very impressive. Each time he's spinning, though, he's not just spinning, he's turning, he's finding that target, he's looking for that target before he unloads. It's almost as if he's uh, anticipating where Kevin's going to be rather than where he is. And, uh, well, this could prove to be the difference, but uh, he may run out of time here in round one, will Kevin just say. Fantastic round to open our main event. It's the home of Mixed Martial Arts, the official wagering partner of both the UFC and Eternal MMA. As always, please gamble responsibly. Round two, underway. Nice right hand again to start the round for uh, right out. See him attacking that calf hit quite a few times in this fight. You can see he's starting to get red around Doucette's, uh, Doucette's uh, leg. He's just a step ahead of Kevin at this stage, Carl. He is. He's just a little bit sharper, a little bit faster. Kevin, though, is always patient, though. You can never count him out. He could be just waiting for that right opportunity to strike. Wow. Talk about crazy. <laughs> How do you prepare for a guy like this? I guess Kevin's in the right spot too, but it's different when you're in the fight there with someone who does stuff like this. Again with that right hand, Carl. Landing on the mark every time, too. Kevin's not even faced. Good. Good. All right, fight on, take care. <laughs> take care of the instructions from Peter Hickman. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Nice outside leg. Oh, There's a kick after that spin, geez. too. If that fist doesn't land, he's got a kick there ready to go. Oh, this is incredibly unorthodox. I don't think we've seen someone put together such techniques in such fashion as we oh. have Caleb right out and with big power as well. Nice little uppercut there before that. He said he wanted to throw hands. He's doing just that in round two. That's a big oh, nice. knee from Doucet. Beautiful uh, eyes there from right out to see that shot coming. So you can see why uh, the Eternal was happy to put Caleb right out in this title fight. Oh, well and truly deserved. And this is where Kevin needs to be. Can he incorporate that superior judo and grappling? He looks to be doing a good job now. Will the size come into play here, Kyle? That's the question. Yeah, I think this is what the best option here for Kevin to do is to take this fight to the ground, use that size advantage, try and take some of that energy out of out of Caleb. Because at the moment, Caleb's able just to dance around, hit and move, hit and move, and do what he does best. So I think this is the best option right now for Kevin to say. Well, he's taking the back now, but right out's back to his feet. Right out did an awesome job there. Getting back to the feet and back up again. But this will wear on Caleb here. Kevin is so big, so strong. Jeez, he can throw them from anywhere. <laughs> so be careful how low he puts that head, though. Kevin just letting him know that that knee's there. 
Very unorthodox, those little kicks inside the clinch like that. Nice hip toss throw. Attempt. Attempt, yes, Carl. Attempt. <laughs> oh, oh. Knee and elbow in that spin. He has to be careful there. Kevin can't sleep on him at all. Well, he's caught him on the break there, that spinning back fist. And that's where Caleb's most dangerous, on them breaks, on them little moments where everyone else rests. Caleb's spinning there, he's throwing. Great defense and offense by Crazy Horse. Good. Fight on. Fight on, fight on. He's strong with that wizard, Kev, bring him back around. Come on, Kev! You need a direction, Kev. You need a direction. And Caleb, you hear him, you hear him with each strike. He's throwing everything he's got into him as well. There's a ton of venom in every single shot. <laughs> Nice double underhooks there by Jusay. Stop! Time on round two. There's your round, says Pete Hickmont. And go. Round three. But Third then, round. But then again, I'm sure Eugene's got some better advice than that. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my humble advice. <laughs> You, you, you can't get much better advice than uh, from Eugene Behrman and Joe Lopez. Oh, Far out, again. man. He just follows up on everything. He's just relentless at the same time as well. Now Crazy Horse using that pressure against the cage. Right out and back out to a better position for him now. To the body now for Crazy Horse. Beautiful shot. There's a little level change before every shot, which makes Kevin think that he's coming low. And again to the body. And no doubt that work. Throwing that right hand, that lead right hand to the head. He's leaving his body open as Kevin. But he's still pressing the action cock. Yeah, he's having success with those leg kicks as well. They're going to pay off later on in the later rounds. Oh, absolutely. This is a five-round fight, so both these guys need to save some energy for the later rounds. But I think Crazy Horse can keep this up all night. Well, let's wait and see. Again, well, you can see the power. <laughs> I don't know if Crazy Horse spun by, by choice there, but... Uh, I think Kevin helped him spin. Kevin, most definitely. Heavy on those lead leg kicks as he goes to the body now. You see Kevin now really starting to land some power shots, trying to slow him down a little bit. Stay focused, Kevin. Come on, work. Focus the jab, bingo. That's it. Exciting fight to watch. It's hard to call and hard to predict what uh, Caleb's actually going to do. You, you can't see it coming. No. <laughs> Kevin, though, great pressure now. He's putting him against the cage. He needs to really slow him down. He's doing a good job of it now. He's trying to contr take control. He's putting his back against the cage, which is limiting his options. But well, it's good defense there by Kevin. Yeah, Managed Ke to block most of those punches. Yeah, Kevin's starting to get his eye in right now for those shots that are coming from Crazy Horse. He's starting to get a bit more relaxed now, Kevin. Starting to see those shots now. Nice pressure. Oh. Beautiful head <laughs> movement by Kevin. You give the volume to Crazy Horse, but defensively. Yeah, Kevin's head work, his head works really good now. He's still got his eye in now. You can see that he's starting to see those shots coming. He's got a feel for now for what Crazy Horse has got to throw. Well, I'm impressed at how well he's managed to uh, calculate Caleb here. But he's got to make the most of it. And he goes oh. for a ride. That's what the crowd came to see. <laughs> <laughs> All aboard, Andrew Say, ladies and gentlemen. Right. 
And this is a better round for Jusay here. Yeah, much better round. Like I said, he, he's able to work him out, that puzzle out a little bit now. And he takes him down for the second time in this fight. Crazy Horse doing a good job, though. Keeping his back on the cage. He's trying to work his way back up. Crazy Horse not showing any signs of being the smaller guy in there, either. It's going to be hard for him to turn out, though. Do say he's got that wrist control on the far side. Nice knee there in the clinch. Yeah, just above the cup. Kevin really pushing that weight against the cage now, using all that weight he's got. Nice knee. Cannot give Crazy Horse any space in that situation. Time is round. End of round number three. And a better round for Kevin Juseko around the world. Check out UFC Fight Pass on Twitter as well for the best KO submissions and fight finishes. Every week is fight week on UFC Fight Pass, Kyle. Championship rounds here in our main event at Eternal 67. I can't believe we're in round four already. It's gone fast. It's an exciting fight. Hard fight to score as well. Crazy Horse obviously being more active. Beautiful tip to the face. Crazy Horse not showing any signs of slowing down either. Right hand over the top, lands flush. Oh, beautiful left hook. Inside leg punch, not something we see often. Incredible toughness shown by Juso. He's eaten everything. With pleasure, that Caleb has thrown at him and he continues to pressure. Hardly taking a backward step. Nice combination there from Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse doesn't look like he's faded at all. He looks just as sharp now as he did in the first round. And that one caught the attention of Jusay. So did that spinning back elbow. Caleb's calling on him to do a little bit more after each strike. Well, they're calling for a second phase, Kyle. Because Kevin's doing a good job of uh, defending the first onslaught of punches and kicks that Crazy Horse throws at him. I would love to see what his second phase is as well. <laughs> <laughs> if this is his first phase, yeah. let's see the second and third. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. Can you predict it though? I'll tell you what, I can't. <laughs> Doing a great job with those one-off shots there. They land them very well, but if you can nail a couple of them together. Both these guys well and truly deserving of this main event spot here at Eternal 67. But only one can walk away with that Eternal World Weight Strap and beautiful level change. See the strength from Kevin Say, My goodness, right out is fighting, but he's manhandled to the ground. Oh, he's up, he's out of there. Right out, beautiful. Big shots landed by Crazy Horse. He makes it look too easy, does Caleb right out. But Kevin Jusay continues to stare down the barrel. Shooting again. Successful for Jusay. Can he do anything with it? 
Crazy Horse is just so hard to hold down. He's popping back to his feet straight away. Like I said, it, it's hard to see that weight disadvantage, you know. He's, he, he's handling it well. Well, you see it in stages. I mean, when he had that, 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 that heavy body lock car, he just dragged him to the ground, but Crazy Horse popped straight back to his feet and again, back to the striking. <laughs> Kevin keeping that nice tight body lock on him there, not giving him much room to move. This is what he needs to do to win this fight. He cannot give Crazy Horse room to move. He needs to smother him, wear his energy out, and try and hold him down on the ground. Crazy Horse never giving up. And even on the defensive, he is offensive <laughs> as he goes down again. But he's proven to be a very, very tough customer on the ground is Caleb right out. He's got 40 seconds to work, does Kevin Say, Will it be enough, though? Tough fight to call. This crazy horse gets back to his feet again. Or to his knees now. Kevin doing a good job now, but trying to expend some energy out of crazy horse. Are you Jay? Can we get a photo off this, please? Please. Send the guy. Oh, he's, I'm waiting for him to do something. There's eight seconds. What's he going to do? There's your round. You can hear Crazy Horse talking in the corner. Though. Oh, my goodness. And you can hear Eugene as well. Just what are you fighting for? These two men are fighting for the Eternal Welterweight Championship. And we are five minutes from finding out who that will be. Will it be Jusay? Will it be right out? There is only one way to find out fifth and final rounds near an eighth and cage side with you Carl Noak action packed here to say the least and both guys are landing heavy strikes here to start off the round action packed it sure is T beautiful shot there by right out Right out looking to counter strike again. It's that lead right hand. Yeah, he's, he, he's not telegraphing it at all, Kyle. No, straight down the pipe, straight down the middle. He either brings it low or he brings it high. Beautiful right hand. Really find this mark now in the fifth round with those hands. Watch those fingers, Kev. Kevin being warned to watch his fingers. He's reaching out with that hand, with his open hand. Sometimes you get in the eye. Oh, You've got to be impressed with the way that Crazy Horse is controlling this distance. He seems to know exactly where Kevin is at all times. As soon as he comes within range of that right hand, he just launches it. I'm impressed by everything Crazy Horse has done in this fight. This kid is something special. That's a heavy leg kick. Yeah, you can see him really starting to move different on that leg now. Yeah, definitely. Oh, gosh. Switching, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, no. No, you can see when he turned around and put his back to us, you can see those welts forming on the back of uh, Caleb's leg. Yeah, absolutely. That's some heavy shots that he's taken on his legs. Well, he switched stances, and that's a telling sign. Not stopping him from spinning, though. He's got to open up here, Jusay. Three minutes left. <laughs> it's now or never for Kevin. And again, manhandling Caleb to the ground. And he's got to look for options here. Well, he's on top, car. Yeah, you know, if I was Kevin, I wouldn't be resting here at all. I'd be trying to advance my position, trying to get to a better spot. It has been a close fight, but I still think that uh, right out may be in front. Well, you don't want to leave it in the hands of the judges. Especially not for a title fight, No, T. no, definitely not. This comes down to who, who wants the title the most, you know? Who wants it the baddest? you got to want that title bad. You want to keep going nonstop. Although Kevin's taking him down crazy, he's, crazy also throwing the more strikes, uh, the, 
majority of the strikes on the ground as well. He's non-stop, he's on the feet, he's hitting from every angle, he's hitting from the ground. Well, again, it goes back to what the judges are going to reward. Do you reward Kevin offensively for his wrestling, or do you reward Caleb defensively for his wrestling defense? You know, you never know. You never know what's, what's, what's going on in the minds of the judges, but like you said, Caleb very active up against the cage. Yeah, and it's not like Kevin's done a lot of damage with the, with the takedowns either. He's sort of just taking him down and holding him there, so very interesting scoring for this would be. Last 60 seconds of this fight. Till we have a new welterweight king. Great underhook there by right out. Gonna get off the cage now, beautiful work. And straight back to his bread and butter. Kevin's gotta come up with something special here. It has been five rounds of non-stop action. Here in our main event, he shoots again. Caleb needs a dig for this underhook here to stop him from coming down. Nice work from Caleb. Just Beautiful. over 10 seconds left here in round number five, you say. Looking for one final takedown. They will throw to the final bell, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Caleb Rideout and Kevin Jusay. What a fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of back and forth action, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores the contest 50 45, Rideout. Judge two scores the contest 48 47, Jusay. And Judge 3 scores the competition 49-46 for your winner by a split decision and new eternal welterweight champion in the blue corner, Caleb Crazy Horse Rider! It is official, ladies and gentlemen, your new eternal Welterweight champion, Crazy Horse, Caleb Rideout.